Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a character for a two-handed strike so this is quite a bit different than the previous tutorial where I showed you the one-hand strike because to do a two-handed strike you need to set up a constraint system now this is actually quite simple to do if you just import your character straight into the scene but this is generally bad practice um, especially in the games industry we always reference in our characters if you don't know how to reference in a character you go to file create reference and that brings in the character from the other file but the problem with that is it won't let you change the hierarchy afterwards so if you try to parent this hand under the sword prop say you'll get an error message um, saying you can't change the hierarchy so I'm going to talk you through quickly how to create a constraint system that allows you to move an FK or IK and have it drive the prop joint which in turn drives this hand here and you're still able to key this hand position because you're going to need to be able to key this hand when doing a strike on two hands it doesn't necessarily lock to what this hand is doing you're, you're going to need to modify it throughout the entire animation to make it look natural so i'm going to take you through how i set this up so this is a fresh scene without any constraints added as you can see i've already got the character in the base pose it's always a good idea to position everything how you want it beforehand in a typical base pose because this will help you know where to put the constraints and what position to do it in so the first thing we're going to do is create a locator so you go up to create locator and in the local scale just increase this a little bit just so you can see it okay if you go to your outliner and press F to focus in on the locator if you press control G that will create a group above the locator okay so these are the two groups that are going to do the work now if you select the sword and then the group uh, pressing control to select the group and if you go to your animation controls and go to constrain parent options and take maintain offset off and add and basically all this do it will snap to the exact pivot point of that if you've got a snap tool that does exactly the same thing um, so now now it's snapped we just delete that constraint because it's in the correct place okay so now our group one and locator have exactly the same world space position and pivot point as the sword so now we just need to move our locator position to our current hand position by doing exactly the same thing so constraint parent you see that locator is now snapped to where this hand position needs to be and again we'll just delete that okay so for this i'm going to be using fk it's really up to you on personal preference if you want to use ik or fk for the right hand which will be your main sort of driving control for this animation uh, personally i like to use fk um, it just gives you a nice natural art uh, it's just slightly easier for me to use fk but it's really up to you but the same process will apply you just use the the ik control instead of the fk in this position so first thing we're going to do is constrain the sword prop to the hand control so constrain and parent options and you might as well put maintain offset on that okay so this hand now controls the sword prop so now what we're going to do is have the sword prop drive the group so constrain parent and let's just check that is correct yep so you see we are now controlling this bottom locator which is going to be our keyable control so now what we need to do is constrain these two again constrain parent and this should work there we go now the thing is as soon as you put a key on this controller it's going to mess everything up so i suggest that you just select it go down to your display layers create a new layer and just hide that and that will stop you from breaking the constraints so now as you can see you can animate away no problem this hand will follow and you have the ability now to key this hand position wherever you like 
so it will help you in the long run because you you won't be forced into awkward poses you know if, you, if you've got the saw coming around here like this you're able to just do correct you know and keep a hold of that sword and make sure that arm looks nice and natural so and that's about it so i hope you found this helpful and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching